Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Twitch or T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys an M16 slash PP90 Overkill Moab playing 6v6 domination on the map Bakara. Somebody actually challenged me a while back to go for a PP90 slash Type 95 Moab, and I really don't like the Type 95. I know a lot of people actually thought it was the best weapon in the game when MW3 first came out. And then they nerfed it a little bit and it's still not as good as it used to be, but a lot of people still think the Type 95 is a really good weapon. And I really don't like it though, for some reason I just think the M16 is a better gun. And it just seems to work a lot better when I use the M16, so I kind of wanted to still use their challenge idea, but I decided to just use the M16 instead of the Type 95. So I kind of used their idea and then I just put a little spin on it, so I just used the M16 instead. And I think in this streak I got a majority of my kills with the M16 just because Bakara is a really, you know, big map. It's really open. There's long lines of sight, so it's not really good to use shotguns or SMGs on this map. So I think I get probably three fourths of my kills, if not more, with the M16. And then I get a few kills here and there with the PP90. But uh, for the majority of this streak, I got a lot of the kills with the M16. I just wanted to point that out. My class setup in this game was the M16 with red dot sight and silencer. And then the PP90 with extended mags and silencer. And then scavenger, overkill, and marksman. And then my specialist loadout was stalker, sleight of hand, and quick draw. And I wanted to mention something really quickly, guys. I had a really, really good gaming session yesterday. I actually dropped a 103 kill game in Black Ops 1 on Nuketown. So I got my second ever 100 plus. That was really awesome. And then I played a lot of Black Ops 2. I played League Play and I got a 17 and 0 flawless. And League Play is actually, you know, way more competitive than just normal public game matches. So I had a 17 and 0 flawless League Play. I had a 40 and 3 League Play. I got a ton of 1 in the chamber gameplays. I got like a 12 and 0, a 9 and 0, a 10 and 1. I got an awesome, I got a lot of awesome 1 in the chamber gameplays on Black Ops 2. I actually kind of have a serious idea that I want to do with that. So I'll keep you guys updated on that in the near future. But what I wanted to talk about today is just ranking all the assault rifles in Modern Warfare 3. I made a video probably about a week ago where I ranked all the SMGs in the game. So today I just want to rank all the assault rifles in the game. So there's 10 assault rifles and I made a little list. So ranking it at number 10, the worst assault rifle in the game, in my opinion, is the CM901. The CM901 doesn't have good damage. It has horrible recoil. It's only good when you have specialist bonus pretty much. And it looks kind of similar to the ACR, but it definitely doesn't play like the ACR. The CM901 is just a really bad weapon. And this might surprise a lot of people, but in my opinion, I think the second to worst assault rifle in the game is actually the Type 95. A lot of people actually think it's really, really good, but I just really don't like the Type 95. I get a lot of hit markers with it, and it takes me about three bursts to kill someone, which I really don't understand. A lot of people kill me in like one burst, but I just don't think the Type 95 is really good. I actually do think the M16 is a lot better of a three-round burst weapon. And the number 8 assault rifle, I think, is the AK-47. It has a really bad vertical recoil. They even kind of nerfed that a while back and made it a little bit better. Or not nerfed, but, uh, not nerfed, but they buffed it. They made the recoil a little bit less, but the recoil is still pretty bad on the AK-47. You never really see anyone use that weapon. It's, you know, it's very hardly ever used. No one really likes to use the AK-47. And then the 7th place is the M16. And just like I said earlier, it's better than the Type 95. It's more consistent. It's a good 3 round burst weapon to use. I think it's just a really great weapon with the red dot sight. And then number 6 is the FAD. People don't use the FAD too often, but I think the FAD has a really great fire rate. It has the fastest fire rate of all the assault rifles in the game. It doesn't do too much damage though, but it's pretty accurate. And then number 5 is the M4A1. I really love the iron sight on the M4A1, the circular iron sight. It's a really consistent gun. It has uh, pretty good accuracy. It's just a good weapon to use. And the number 4, my, I'd say, is the G36C. It's basically tied with the M4A1, but I just like the uh, G36 a little bit better because of the accuracy. The G36 is probably the most accurate weapon in the game. If you put a red dot sight on the G36 and you pop fire with it, it's pretty much dead on accuracy. That G36 has like perfect accuracy, and even with the iron sight, it still has really good accuracy as well. I just think the uh, G36C is a little bit better than the M4A1. And the number 3, this might surprise some people, but I think the number 3 assault rifle in the game is the Scar L. It's pretty similar to the ACR. I love the iron sight on the Scar L. It has really good accuracy, pretty good damage. It's really good for rushing. It's kind of like a hybrid uh, weapon to use between SMGs and assault rifles. The Scar L is kind of like a hybrid. And the number 2 for assault rifles is the MK14. It's really close behind the ACR, but it's pretty much a two-shot kill. It has super good range, super good accuracy. It's really, really good with the red dot sight. The MK14 is super good if you have... Uh, 
if you have a really good trigger finger, the MK14 can be uh, super good. And then the ACR, I think everyone would agree on this, is the best weapon overall in the game. It's a laser beam gun. Pretty much half of the gameplay is on YouTube or with the ACR. It's by far the best weapon in Modern Warfare 3 to use. So let me know your guys' ranks of the assault rifles in the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Let me know in the comment section how you would rank the assault rifles. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.